All right, here we go. Winterizing our Ibex trailer for the first time. It's a 19 TQH. This is the outdoor shower, which we never use because we bought it in April. But don't forget, you have to winterize it. I went ahead and took this piece off of the outdoor shower. It screws on right here. When you insert it into this, it allows the water to pump out. Here's my air compressor, which I use to blow the lines at. I set the PSI, you can see, at 20 right here. This compressor allows you to give more or less air. The anode on the water heater, this is a 27 millimeter. That's the socket we use to pull the anode out. There's the on off switch. You have to have the water heater off. I went ahead and connected my air to the city water connection here. Again, 20 PSI. That allowed me to pump out the water lines. Here's a hot and cold low point and my water drain, which is half inch national pipe thread. Uh, that white connection there, that's how you just drain out the tank. The This model comes with a hose that allows you to siphon your antifreeze into the system. It's currently set, uh, whichever way this is pointing, that's opening the valve. So in this case, this is pointing to this hose. So it allows you to pull right out of the tank. It's so cool, I was so happy when I found that. The hot water heater has a bypass. It's right, right, try to get my hand in here. Right there. So you bypass the water heater so that you're not introducing antifreeze into the water heater because from what I've seen, it's not good for the water heater. This panel comes off with these five screws here. And here's the panel that covers the water heater. You just take off these five screws right here and you have access to the water heater. That's pretty much it. So as far as sequencing and what order to do these in, your trailer comes with an owner's manual and the water heater will talk about the sequence or the process. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to point out the key uh, aspects of the Ibex 19 QTH. See ya.